Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. In this video, we're going to look at a new mod map release for Farming Simulator 19. Welcome to Wither Farms by Missy B. Let's just read a little bit from the description in the mod hub. This is a fictitious map based in the UK. It has 33 fields ranging from small to large, two pre-built farms and one placeable area in which to build your own farm. You'll need to clear the placeable yard first as it is overgrown with trees and shrubs. We'll look at that a bit later, so remember that bit. It has all FS19 features, all inner hedges can be removed to allow for fields to be bigger or ease of access. Cows, pigs, sheep and chicken are waiting at the main farm. Water and lime are free, seasons ready. It says old production pack ready, I think that's the placeable factories pack now. And it says production pack ready and precision farming ready and it's also got the option when you've got the add-on straw harvest so it's not your typical British map which you'll see little bits in a minute it's got some odd touches some quirky touches and some very random touches which again we'll come across later the first of the odd and random I suppose it's more random is you start off up here on the roof of the livestock market now if you actually go onto the map we are up here but we're slight we must be slightly off the map because you can't see yourself so we've obviously been having a little bit of a shindig up here so if we come down off of here down onto the ground we've already got some cell points there so now we should be on the map there we go so we're up here we haven't got any vehicle here so I'm gonna have to cut in a minute to get a tractor but if we come over here you've got your animal dealer there so you can get your animals here either buy them like that or come up with a trailer You've got a water cell point there. That's a cell point there for your bales or your loose straw, hay, etc. This is one of your main cell points there. So if we just have a quick look. So we've got animal barn, that's for your bales. Livestock market, which is that main cell point. Your animal dealer. I'll quickly run across to Titch's Agri as well because that is another main cell point, I think. So if we go across and come down, there's 19 cell points on this map, by the way, so you're not going to be short of options. So what do we have there? Animal barn. So animal barn, like I say, if we go on that, come all the way to the end, you're going to be able to do your silage, grass, hay and straw, loose or in bales, livestock market, is there which is pretty much your main crops I don't think you can do any more no nope. and then when we run across to Titch's Agri again that's another one of your main sale points I think there's sort of five main sale points on the map again that's just for that so let me quickly whiz, whiz along here. <clears throat> Just on the right hand side we've got some areas with quite a few trees in there which you can purchase. I'll show you them in a minute when we come onto the map. But it, it is a nice map. I'm not, you know, I'm not knocking it at all. It's got some very nice touches. But it's, it's just not your typical British map. So this is Titch's Agri. There, 
which is one of your main sail points. I'll just quickly show you on the map. So like I say, you can buy these little areas there. They're not that expensive. In fact, that's 51,000 for both of those. There's a few trees in there you could cut down and make yourself a little bit of money on. Our main farm is down here. And you've got a farm silo there, which is a million litre capacity. And we've got chickens, sheep, pigs and cows up here at the main farm. We'll go through all that later. The field prices aren't too bad. They obviously range. You've got bigger fields like this one there is 493, 17's 288. You've got some tiny fields like this. It comes as a 2, 38,000, 18,000. We already start off, I'm in new farmer mode by the way, we already start off with the biogas plant um, in new farmer mode, but if you come on the other mode, it's only 26,900, which is quite good. Also down the bottom here, which we will jump to in a minute, we've got a horse pen. You've got access to all the pens, so even if you don't start off a new farm and you don't own this bit you will still have access to the pens if you did want to come on here and buy this area it's only 125,000 oh not that one sorry 104,000 to buy so like I say we're on new farmer mode we start off with fields 12 and 14 and obviously all this area here it is with all your equipment 536 slots on console if you sell all of your equipment which i'll go through again in a minute it brings that down to 374 slots now if you start off in the other two modes farm manager and start from scratch you start off with nothing no equipment no farm <coughs> excuse me and that they both those modes are 374 slots so not too bad on the slot count at all so like I say we randomly start off up there on the north east side of the map and we've got equipment here at our main yard we've got equipment here at our shop and we've got equipment right down here which is the second farm so as well as our farm, this is the second farm. So I'm going to cut to down here and we'll start doing a little tour. So I'm at the second farm now. Like I say, we've got some storage area here and various bits of our machinery dotted around. You've got a little area there you could put something in more equipment this is one of your silos which is a multi-fruit one and your liquids and like I said earlier it's a million litre capacity we've got our, one of our fent tractors here we've got a workshop area in here with a racking system there so we'll come over here, we can work on our vehicles. This is the horse pen. So we've got our water and feed trough there. We come up to the gate. You open your animal dialogue box. You can buy your horses from there. If we come inside and just to the right you can just see the hazard marks that's your straw trigger so while we're here let's have a quick look at our equipment that we start with obviously on new farmer mode <clears throat> so we start off with the Fent 724 Vario the Fent 1050 the Russell Mash RSM 161 Harvester we've got a Manitou MLAT small telehander, Agriliner TAW30 trailer, 
the header for your harvester, the Vaderstad cultivator, Vaderstad seeder, a sprayer, a fertilizer spreader, front mower, side mower, tedder, wind rower, a baler, which is a baler and a wrapper, and a shovel for your telehandler. There is some modded stuff in to the map. I've made some notes. What have we got? I've went through pretty much everything. And because it's by Missy B, she's modded in. Oh no, there. Sorry. Forgive me for that. That's under miscellaneous, actually. I was thinking it was under trailers. She's modeling her two trailers there which are really good trailers, I use them quite a lot. Also added in, I think, under auger wagons. Yep, the beet cart. For doing your sugar beet potatoes and sugar cane. And the placeables, I think under miscellaneous. The racking system, which we just saw in the workshop and a Karcher wash station, which there's already one on the map, which we'll come across again in a minute. In silos, she's got pretty much all of her silos. It's with some extra stuff. So we've got fuel storage, add blue storage. Then she's got her modded silos, the grain quid one, large extension, extension, compact, small storage, small liquid tank, for storing your liquid fertilizer and herbicide then in sheds there's two sheds we've just seen one of those sheds down on this farm the other one this one's already in place up the other our main farm and farmhouses we've got a doormat there and the farmhouse um, when I did some testing earlier I put the farmhouse down but I could not get the sleep trigger to come up. I don't know if I I went all round the house up to the doors. Um, it didn't come up at all. It did for the mat. But I thought I'll I put the hub farmhouse down. I thought oh maybe I've got to put the mat down as well. But it wouldn't let me put the mat down because I had the farmhouse down, saying you only one item per map. So I don't know if that was just me being an idiot or that is an issue there I'm not sure so we're going to jump in I didn't tell you about the horses actually sorry horses hold 16 pens uh, pens 16 in the pen get my words out in a minute <clears throat> so if we come out of here I think what we're going to do is we're now down here we're going to come along here and I'll quickly check out these two and then we'll come back and come along the bottom of the map because it's not a sort of nice loop round it's um, a bit coming back on yourself sort of type thing so if we come along down here <coughs> One issue I have found is the traffic on here. It's um, it's not very forgiving at all. I'll show you in a minute. So just be careful if you're on there. It's quite dark in a few places, right along here. But, you know, it's not a problem. So if we come here, we are at the manure yard and slurry yard and is also by diesel area <clears throat> so if we jump out that's your manure slurry and then that's going to be your diesel so if we come across to our cell points there's the slurry yard I'm assuming it is just slurry 
Oh no, it's digestate. That's odd. It's not showing slurry. Hmm. I thought that would have been... Anyway, manure yard. That's going to be just manure here. Yeah. Right, moving on from there, we are going to go out of here. I'm just going to come out and just put my foot down because, I have to say, <laughs> this traffic is quite quick on this map and they don't slow down for anything, they don't stop at junctions. I don't need this returning. I think there is another entrance and exit up here. This is another one of our cell points. I think this is another main cell point just there. So we've come out, we've come up. This is all grains. So that's going to be up the top. Yeah. Takes pretty much all your main crops. Nothing extra. Nope. And next we'll go up to the shop. Yes, there's two entrances and exits on this map. Uh, on this cell point. Most of the cell points have got their own little sign, so that's B and K Agri. It's a reasonably flat map, there's a few sort of like hilly bits and which we'll come across later. This is the petrol station. Let's just jump out quick. You can fill up your vehicles here, but you can also in this area sell your diesel over here. You can sell water. At first I thought that was a water trigger because of where it says free water and lime on the map. I thought, oh, that's where you're going to get your water from, but that's just a selling point for your water. We've got a wash station there already, which is quite a nice touch. You get that in a lot of garages. Um, over here, I presume that's everywhere in the countries. From there, we're going to go just a little bit left the road here. We've got the shop just in here. There's another sale point just there. So if we quickly check, we've come out of all grains, come up there, petrol station there, and then we're at shop there. So if we come along and go down to shop at the shop you can sell eggs milk I think that's it yeah oh no in the shop if you're using the factories pack you've got these extra added on items <coughs> I could be wrong but I think the first one there is sunflower oil then we've got cheese then we've got flour then we've got laminated boards, then we've got sugar, then potato chips, barrels, uh, biodiesel, and then I think the last one is soya drink. So you can sell some of those things there at the shop. And then the only other um, sell point where you can sell those is going to be the pallet warehouse, which we will obviously come along to later. So, I just want to quickly check so I don't miss that out for you. I probably am going to have to do that now, actually. So if we just, while we're here, cut through to this little bit, because this is a quirky, like I say, quirky things. Little features, touches. So if we come round the back here. I think this is where you're going to get your water from, so you can just back in your trailer down to the little lake and fill up with your water 
we've got a random chess stroke drafts board on the middle of an island which is quite bizarre so if we come out of there now and we're going to come back out of here because this is probably the easiest way Just, it, some of it's a little bit like I said earlier coming back on yourself especially for this map tour so I do apologise I may cut a little bit out just to show you but it's not going to be missing a lot of features so again all the overhanging trees some people don't like them it's too dark I've read a lot of comments on some maps on Facebook pages etc so then we've got some more sail points there this is the NYD spinners and alien grains I think these gates are shut because it's still early we're only 726 in the morning I did test I know the shop gates open at 9 so I'm wondering if these will open up at 9 as well, they possibly do. So where are we now on the map? So we come down from the chessboard and we're in this section here which we've got a few sail points here. We've got alien grains which we're in front of. We've got a, the barnyard which is going to be another sail point for your bales and your loose straw, hay etc. Farm shop and the MYD spinners so there you go that's that sail point there I'm not 100 sure why there's two trigger boxes there across here this is your MYD spinners for your wool and cotton there's your trigger point there here around the back this was the farm shop yeah the farm shop and then just here this trigger here the little square under this auger pipe is the farm shop where you can buy I've written this down somewhere where are we you can buy seeds, herbicide, pig food, liquid fertilizer, solid fertilizer and lime but the lime is free so that's quite cool you can get things from there and then there's your other sale point there for the, your bells and your straw and whatnot. so let's just have a quick look on the sale points quickly go up to the top we we'll do alien grains first that's one of your main sale points nothing extra just your normal main crop types then we've got the farm shop and the barnyard farm shop there just gone past it again another one of your main sale points that will take cotton there as well that's a bit odd and wool having them right next to each other you think they might have spaced them out a little bit and you can sell milk there as well at the farm shop and silage and manure and slurry and digestate <laughs> so that's quite a varied one then the MYD spinners there obviously just your cotton and your wool I think that is all of those ones so if we come out of there now <coughs> now I'm going to cause a massive pile up now just to show you how vicious this traffic is what I do is I'll try and get to an area where it's not as dark But like, you know on some maps where the traffic goes so slow, I remember being on Stone Valley and it's like 15 miles per hour and you're forever overtaking 
these guys you can't even catch them up so they must be doing about 15 mile per hour I wanted to get to like a fairly light part of the road where it's not so dark I'm not sure we're going to do it so we're coming up now towards the um, biogas plant I'll probably go in here first again gates are shut because it's early oh see what I mean he did break but <laughs> you've got a weigh station either side which is quite cool so you can weigh yourself coming in and then when you've offloaded you can weigh yourself coming out <coughs> big area nice slow tipping point to go into there so you can dump your stuff in there there's your digestate tank two three sorry big uh, silage bunkers come back around got another way station there again oh we've lost one <coughs> sorry let's quickly stop there so we come out of there where the spinnery is come across biogas plant now we're going to come all the way along here and we're going to check out these three cell points there after we've caused some trouble on the road again there you go look foos biopower see watch these cars if he turns down there look they don't even stop so I'm gonna just, just sit here and see what happens and now I want it to happen there's no one there all right well I'll wait until someone comes we will do it look there you go look not even gonna stop because I'm there and if I do this that one will hit me and then all the others will just plow into him and then you end up with about eight cars inside of one so I'm guessing that's going to get sorted out in an update or something but if you do get hit you know it flip it flip you over that that one's just caught me that's because of bad driving I'm going to go in cab here I think is ruthless I don't know what they're trying to say about us UK drivers we're not as bad as that not all of us anyway nice big field on our left there we'll get there in a minute So there you go, limited biomass and raw root crops, but there is actually three cell points in here. The first one is there on the left, which is for your wood chips. I think that's biomass, yep. And then over the other side, you've got for your sugar beet and your sugar cane, and just over there for your potatoes so that is sweet sugar there on the left this one and then the potato shop there so now we're going to come out of here and we're going to go back towards the biogas plant and we're going to come up and remember about the placeable area where you could start your farm but you have to clear it this is this one here which we're going to check out so that's where we're heading next so I've cut to this bit just to save the boredom of me just driving about so if we turn in here this is that area that you can purchase 
and there's quite a few trees in there so if you cut cut them down you sell them you're going to make a little bit of money off of it so we came from these three sell points across and up and we're now in here and this is quite cheap to buy that it's only 13,578 and it's got a back entrance there that you can come round loop round and it will take you back out just near the shop which is where we're going to head to next so yeah there's some brilliant little options and you know things that you could do on here depending on what you want to do you don't have to start off at that farm up there but obviously if you are starting off in farm manager mode or start from scratch you can go wherever you want there is another um, area similar sort of size to what we've just looked at just over here next door to the shop which we'll stop and have a look at again you could purchase and what I quite like as well is is most of the areas that we come into the sale points and the farm yards um, there's a lot of room it's very look how big this room is here in the shop it's very spacious so you can do things with and just to show you while I'm talking about that is if we do click on say the shop <coughs> we can buy all of the areas where the sale points are and the shop even this little bit here in the middle of our farm which has got a few little houses on and the price is zero so you know you could put various things down in the shop area look at the size of that there's lots of room there anyway we're at the shop which is a class dealership which is very nice nice big shop lots of posters about different machinery although it's written in a different language we've got a workshop trigger there so we can do repairs sell our equipment if you buy anything or lease anything it appears here that's also your reset point so lots of room to back onto trailers this is quite a random touch as well so we go into the shop first of all over here is your buying point so you can buy your equipment again more posters so I believe this is ours this is ours the telehandler is ours and this big vent is ours and that is the only way out so I did test earlier I got that out absolutely fine but trying to get that out with the sort of swivel axle on the front that's going to be a bit of a challenge so you could just reset it and it will appear outside which I think is going to be the easiest option I don't think you can shut these doors nope so that is the shop area We'll swing around and come out of there. And then just come up and just to the left is that area I was on about. The place it is. So if we just quickly poke our nose in there just to see what happens. There you go, nice flat big area, do whatever you want in, again it's not very expensive at all, 16,000 just over. So what did we do, we came from this yard, come up to the shop, now we're going to check out the, yeah, I was going to say pellet then, pallet warehouse, which is where you can sell all of your um factory 
stuff if you're producing any of that. Whoa, there you go, see? That was a brilliant example. Can have timed that much better and then he's just come around and done that again. That is exactly what I mean about the traffic. I'm glad you witnessed that because that is what you're up against. So, this is the pallet warehouse there. So if we come along, there we go, pallet warehouse. Can't sell anything else there apart from these added in bits. And you could sell everything there, which is quite good. Then we're gonna come up and we're gonna check out these two here. I'm just going to put my foot down again because so there's our main farm up there I won't stop too long welcome to Wither Farms I don't know if it's Wither or Wither this is one of your fields that you own 14 if you're on new farmer mode nice little field again I'm probably going to get a hit there you've got Lily's Grains there on the sign and Milky Way milk So I mean look at the size of this area again, you can put things in here if you buy it So you've got your milk sale point over there And then Lily's grains is just over here Like so Actually what I'm wondering I didn't test this I've pretty much tested everything else with the same as the one that we came across which was down here which was alien grains wasn't it it had two boxes I just spotted that I didn't notice that on the other one I'm wondering if you can also buy stuff from there I might have to check that out and let you know anyway coming back out of there we are gonna go now because this just leads along and then up to where we started so we don't want to go that way we're gonna go and check out our main farm so back out along here past our little field that we own entrance in and out there that you can use some random houses the ones I said if you purchase all the cell points and that for zero they um they become yours so in here again let's turn that off look at the size of this yard area you could just do what you want you could probably fit you know, a few chicken pens in there. Anyway, got a shed there, storage, another shed there with a bit of our equipment in. Just over here, we've got our sheep. There is a light there, which you can turn on and off, obviously. This is our animal dialogue box. You've got your feed trough there, you've got your water trough there, you have got gates here you can open. And then your wall will appear under this shed, just there. Very nice indeed. What I will show you actually while I'm here, when they said about um, hedges being removed, we just quickly get ourselves a chainsaw I would have bought one earlier and had it prepared but I didn't want it to show up in our owned items so in these hedges you can just see there there is wooden uh, stakes just there again and we can cut them 
So if we come down a little bit. Like so. So the hedge either side of the post disappears. So then now you've got some log there. So you could sell those logs I guess. But if you wanted to do a quick one. Like if you wanted to clear a whole strip of hedges rather. I'm guessing you could probably use that lizard T-Rex or Trex. And just come through and blitz that whole hedge which would be a lot quicker if you wanted to do that if you just want to get rid of a little bit like that to put a gate in or create another entrance to a field or your yard then just do what I did and then just have to grind that stump down so that's quite a cool little touch being a, having that as an option because as it stands, if you drive into any of the hedges, some of the hedges, you can go through, can't you, on maps. But if you do that now on these, bang, you can't. So just beware. I originally thought this was our farmhouse. But I went all round it again, and it's not. So you don't actually have a farmhouse to start with. So you're going to have to either place your own one down or use that um, doormat. Again, another shed. More of our equipment scattered around. This is our other silo. Again, a million litre capacity. Put your stuff in there and then you have a pipe out there. Exactly the same workshop as down on the other farm where the horses are you trigger there to repair your vehicles again with the rack in there exactly the same style and then we'll come round a bit more into the yard there's your chicken pen over here feed trough there Open your gate there, animal dialogue box to buy your chicks. Eggs will spawn there, it's quite a big area so I don't know if that whole area is going to fill up. If it does, that's quite good. Next we've got this which is uh, another silo really for your farm. Um, this left one here just for seeds so you can get seeds out you just pull into the box and it will load up with your seeds if you hit the trigger and you can unload seeds into there that is a hundred thousand litre capacity this one here on the right does solid fertilizer liquid fertilizer herbicide and lime and that one holds 120,000 litres which again is a nice little touch we come down further into our main farm oh I forgot to tell you that the chickens hold 300 I do apologize for that I'll jump out for that this is our piggies come over to here there you go you can buy them from there there's your feed trough there your water trough there and if you open these doors, you back your trailer in here and your straw point is in there, trigger. And the pigs will hold 250. Over here you've got your cows. You've got your feed trough all the way along there, that full length. Your straw trigger is in there. I actually found it as well. You can be over there somewhere and it will come up. You've got lights there, this door does open. I think there was lights on the pigs as well, wasn't there? Yeah, just there, another light switch. Uh, just down the end here, you've got your milk, where you collect your milk from. Again, this door opens there, you've got a light switch there for that part of the room. That 
just for decorative purposes really because your milk's there this one you've got to open the gates and just go inside slightly for the trigger to come up that's where you get your cows from they will hold 400 you've got your water trough there and this bit is quite cool and that this is your slurry on your left side there is for your pigs and on the right side there is for your cows and it's got a capacity of 800,000 each which is quite good and this is one big massive manure pit for both animals cows and your pigs which is quite good having it all in one thing got two big bunker silos there there's that gate we saw earlier so you can come in and out that way again more storage coolio coolio so we're going to go now out of our farm up here we're going to check out sawmill and the place for your wood chips and then this part is all your forestry which we'll cover in a minute so again really big open farm and that's what i say most of the uk maps british maps that have come out your farmyards are fairly tight aren't they so it's not your typical one and again you've got a little bit of a hill here look coming up slope so you know some parts down in the south part of the map are um reasonably flat fairly flat my notes to see if there's any more I need to tell you because we're coming to the end which I expect most of you would be glad of <laughs> I hope not I hope you're enjoying it so I think just over here wasn't it yep yeah. it does get a little bit dark up here now because obviously we're getting into the tree area. This here as well where the sawmill sawmill is is again a really big open area. There we go, night sawmill. Have to get out and open our gate. Come back out of cab now a little bit better see so you've got your wood chip cell point just there and then we'll swing round and round the back you've got your main timber cell point there there is some more water there so I'm presuming you can get water again from there let's just have a quick look at the forestry area which is quite cool because you don't have to buy all of it it's all done in little chunks of it and it's not that expensive 58,000 for that 82 81 bigger plot there 197 quite cool went all through these little circles they're just little grass areas that slightly open up a little bit this area here has got a very big telephone mast in it so that will be in your way if you're going to completely clear all that and make a massive field or something I don't know but that I think is it for the end of this map tour I'm just going to have a quick look to see if I've got everything in I think I have so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give us a like and if you don't subscribe yet please do and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty